Welcome back, everyone. Uh, Tim Marlowe here, Andy Vargo. I know I always say hey, your hey. name, but say you can say your name. You I can say my name? Yeah. Isn't that a song? Say my name. Say my name. <laughs> Andy Vargo, right here, hanging out at BD Local Studios in downtown Tacoma. Excited to be back with everybody for our last segment of the day. Yes, yes, yes. And he is not caffeinated. He. This is where he starts. <laughs> and so This is my starting zone, yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome, level. everyone. We have our last segment, which is our um, business strategies and personal development with own your awkward here, Andy Vargo. So thank you so much. What do we have going yeah, on today? You. Today, I'm going to talk about something that happened to me yesterday. Okay. <laughs> and I think it's really good for everybody to take the lesson from it because cool. uh, I've been putting out some requests for some uh, submissions I'm putting in and, and that's been daunting. It's been a process <laughs> because y- you put yourself in a very vulnerable position when you ask people to buy from you, to support you. And, and it's very hard sometimes not to take their answer as a yes or no Mm -hmm. as a uh, rejection of your work or your quality or your value Mm -hmm. because that's not always the case right sometimes it's uh you know we're not lined up needing i don't need what you offer right now it doesn't mean that there's not value to what you have Mm -hmm. sometimes it's i already have that service taken care of sometimes it's i just you know don't like you whatever i mean but it doesn't have to be a complete rejection right and so but the thing that you hear this a lot in sales is is the concept of getting to yes by getting enough rejections that you get to the mm-hmm. right yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and I see this whether it's in business or – and I see it a lot in personal relationships. When someone says they don't want to date you or they don't want to be your friend, if we are constantly chasing that person we because we're hung up on wanting that that relationship, mm-hmm. then we're actually lowering our own value for ourselves rather than than saying, you know what, that's great. I can cross them off my list because I'm going to get closer to the correct yes, to the right yes, to right. the good partnership. And that's what we need to find. Right. So yesterday I got this find rejection letter. Find Mr. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like whatever it is, it's like we're crossing these people off faster and faster. And, and we need to view it in a way that says that's getting me closer to the right solution because we know we're going to have rejection. We know we're going to have people where we don't line up with, where they don't need our service or whatever. But we need to get those out of the way so that we can get to the yes. Yeah. So instead of being taking it as a depressed, oh my gosh, I'm, I got another one. This person doesn't want me. That doesn't want me. And and living in that space of I'm never going to be wanted, we you need to reframe it and position yourself to realize that you're getting them out of the way and you're not wasting time on them. Mm-hmm. And now I can say, great, you're out of my life so I can move on to the next one. And mm-hmm. now that one's going to be the right solution or maybe one later, but you're getting me, it's like, you know, you're passing the mile markers on the road. Right, right, right. You know, I don't know if it works well in relationships, but one thing I thought of for the Mm -hmm. business side of it was asking that business or that, that person that doesn't want to purchase from you, why? Right, exactly. So you don't take it so Mm -hmm. personally. And I guess you could do it with, you know, relationships too. And uh, I don't want to be with you. Why? And, mm-hmm. and, and then you got to go a little bit deeper right. with that knife. But um, but it's yeah. uh, in business, it seems like y- you can be smart about it and learn the why they're not there. Well, it is a very important question to ask because, and, and both personal and in business, okay, because, because you do want to be able to understand, um, number one, if there's something that you didn't present well that they misunderstood about you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they, they might say, well, I didn't, I didn't, feel like I should be in a relationship with you because we're not lined up on this value. And maybe you were lined up, but you weren't portraying it very well. Sure. Or maybe maybe you, you actually find some solace in, in the fact that they say, well, we're not lined up well because of, uh, you know, I want this and you want that. And you're like, oh, I'm glad you saw that and I didn't because you're right, that wouldn't have worked. And it doesn't necessarily mean that one person is the bad guy and the other and the other is a good guy. It's we don't line up, so it's not going to work. Right. And same And with business, very similar you want to be able to know if you can improve your presentation. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it will be just as simple as, hey, I think you're a great guy. I love your products, but we don't need that service right now or you know, or we're, we're not in a position to do that at this time. And then you can keep the door open to come back later and say, great, I'll, can I revisit you in six months? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what that does is you've gotten their permission to call on them again. Mm-hmm. So they're not offended when you come back and say, is, it's like, this guy can't take no for an answer. It's like, no. I'm asking for you when would be a reasonable time to reopen the door. Mm-hmm. And some people may never want to hear from you again, and then that's fine. You're not going to waste your time on them. Right. But then it's more of a welcome conversation when you 
instead of calling them again and saying, hey, are you ready to buy my product? You call them and say, hey, I just wanted to check in and see how things are going. If you would need, let me know if, I, if, I, if you need my services or if I can help yeah. you. I remember you had mentioned six months ago that you were good, but there was a time that right. you said that we may be able to you know, talk about it again. Yeah. Because again, I think when you ask that why, mm-hmm. I think the closing ratio in a sales mindset might be higher because you sat down and took the moment to care about why they said no. Right, yeah. And, and you have to be skillful of how you ask that question, sure. especially in a business situation, because uh, the dynamics you know, are different enough between personal and business. But when, when you're in a business relationship, that person may not feel they owe you anything, depending on how deep that relationship sure. has been. It's one thing if they are canceling a service and moving away from you versus just never buying from you in the first place. But to be able to uh, pitch it in a way that it, that says that, that doesn't make them feel pressured to continue the dialogue about buying from you mm-hmm. and to be able to set it up and say, I completely respect that and understand it. I'm you can even, and just sometimes just being frank and saying I'm new at this game or I'm I'm running into a couple situations where I'm I'm trying to improve my mm-hmm. my dialogue with people. Can you tell me if there was anything in particular that got in the way so that I can do better with the next person? Yeah, and and what you want to kind of avoid is um, that situation where you are making them tentative to to answer the question honestly because they're afraid that you're going to use it against them. Mm-hmm. It's like I uh, I canceled a service recently, and you know when you when you go online you cancel a subscription, and right away they say why are you canceling? <laughs> Too many emails, <laughs> right? <laughs> and and then they give you these autofill options: is it cost? Is it um, lack of of results in the product? Yeah, is it whatever information? Yeah, like that. <clears throat> and you know that no matter which box you're going to check. They're going to put you in touch with that agent that's a specialist in, well, no, we can give you a, a cheaper price. Oh, no, well, we could improve this or we could offer that. And it's, it's such a setup that, that we don't want to answer those questions about why, or why are we moving on or why are we not buying. So when you do that with your customers, especially in a one-on-one setting, to be able to make sure that they're clear that you're looking for that answer self-reflectively to improve yourself. Sure, to be better. Yeah. So yeah. now when I, be- yeah. when, I, when I answer those automated checkboxes. I always say other, and I say moving to Antarctica. <laughs> they don't have a specialist for that field. It's just like, that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, and there's such value to the conversation we're having and in, in learning. It's really a power of no, and in, in mm-hmm. just getting out of the mindset that no is bad, and it's really just filtering out what's not needed, and it's okay, and then um, being able mm-hmm. to learn and adapt. And, you know, honestly, to end um, a conversation with someone that either doesn't want service, you know, I think that you would want to kind of leave it in a sense where they are willing to refer you. Right. Right. And yeah. so and so you want to leave it in a conversation like that it's open to, you know, just open to the conversation, mm-hmm. but also being able to, hey, if anybody, you know, that does cross your mind um, that does need right. services like these, you know, I hope you wouldn't hesitate to um, refer them out to yeah, us. Yeah, you want their experience with you to be enlightening and empowering and respective and right. not annoying and them to be ready to be done with you so that they, so that they can keep that open and say, oh, you know, yeah, it's not right for me, but I, I know a couple people I might send your way. Yeah. And, and one thing I will say that I continue, I, this continues to hold true is that you learn more about people when they don't get their way than when they do. Mm-hmm. Like their true character really shows when they're rejected and how they handle themselves. Mm-hmm. When you don't get the promotion, when you're told no, so you need to think about that in the moments where you're rejected because that's when people really decide if they're going to support you later. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, I thought I might buy later, but then he really freaked out when I told him no. <laughs> or yeah, I thought we could still be friends, but I didn't go to dinner that one night, and then he ignored me for six months, you know, whatever it is. But but you see that with people where as long as things are going people's way, they're really pretty happy to just be jovial and everything. But as soon as they're they're not, then that's when their true character shows. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, how can people contact you? Uh, because not only does he have a book that is releasing soon, I'm sure you can give some information out on that, but also how can they contact you for all your other services? Yeah, you can contact me easily uh, on any social media, Andy Vargo or Awkward Career. My handle on most social media is just Awkward Career. And my website, awkwardcareer.com, where you can go right on there and, and book time just to chat for a free call for a few minutes and see if there's anything I can help you with. And, yeah. and the, the book, uh, Own Your Awkward Life Changes, is all about 
learning how to take control of those situations so that no matter how change has landed in your life, you can take control of the situation and take it to where you want it to go. So. Wow. And when is that releasing? Because that is going to be hot on the market it's, here It's shortly. coming out in October, very soon. Sweet. So right Sweet. around the corner. And is that going to be something that they can purchase and they can have a physical copy, or is this going to be a digital thing? What, tell you us a little bit more about that. You can do it either way. I'm going to have a free digital day, which there's an event on Facebook you can already go see oh, nice. for October 11th. So um, I, I set it up as a Facebook event so that you don't lose track and miss an email saying, oh, here's the day to get the free download. Right. Um, and the book has a lot of interactive worksheets you fill out, so you can actually just, uh, in the book, there's a link to just download Worksheet. So if you have the digital version and you want to be able to journal and write on the paper, you can you can get those emailed to you for free. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea because we go through change so much. Exactly. That we we probably need to go through. Yeah. This because process the idea once. is you're gonna you're gonna learn the process in the book, and then you're gonna have another life change. And you're like, okay, well, I just need a new set of forms because it's a different right. change. Or wow. ah, I got partway down this change and I'm I'm shifting again. Yeah. And so uh, so that's the case. But then so also good. hard copies will be available around town or to order online. So. I love it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you so much, Andy. Uh, thank you all that are tuning in today to Be the Better Local. Uh, coming to you live here uh, Tuesday. Uh, it's still in September. We're, uh, yep. we're rounding the, the last part of this year of 2020. Hopefully everyone is uh, not just um, sitting in fear, but you know, doing what all these great people have done today and stepped out of their comfort zone to do something to enlighten themselves, to empower themselves, to bring positivity to this world, and even yeah. Andy Vargo over here is launching a book in 2020. So it's all exciting. things are possible. So um, you got anything else before we head out? I, I think that uh, that we've had so much good things today. The only thing that I could say is that uh, you should be the change needed in the world today. I love it. We'll see you. <laughs>